Joe Manson made some comments about NIL, the structure of it, and players being millionaires that has a lot of people lashing out at the senator of West Virginia. I'm going to talk about that and read an article and give my opinion on this subject right after this word from our sponsor. This episode of Mountaineer Paul Talks Football is brought to you by Dutch Miller Automotive, where friends and family pricing means you get the best deal right up front on any new or pre-loved vehicle in stock every time. With brands like Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Kia, Hyundai, Ford, GMC, Buick, and Subaru, the Dutch Miller Automotive family is always growing and ready to put you on the car or truck you've been searching for. Check out our inventory across West Virginia at DutchMillerAuto.com or come in today to the home of friends and family pricing only at a Dutch Miller Automotive store near you. This is for Cameron. What is up guys? Welcome back and welcome in. My name is Mountaineer Paul and this is another episode of Mountaineer Paul Talks Football and guys, Senator Joe Manchin had a lot to say about NIL, some things that I just flat don't agree with. Um, we're going to read an article, talk about that stuff a little bit and maybe you guys can give me your opinion down in the comments afterwards. This is from Mike Osti from West Virginia Sports Now, who does just an incredible job over there. The headline reads, West Virginia Senator faces backlash after making stern comments about NIL. The ability for college athletes to profit off their name, image, and likeness will likely always be a polarizing debate. But West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin has made sure, has made sure everyone is fully aware of how he feels about NIL. Tuesday marked the 10th congressional hearing on NIL. Manchin was, net, was among big-time names like NCAA President Charlie Baker, Big 12 Commissioner Brett Yormark, and Notre Dame Athletic Director Jack Swarbrick to speak during a two-and-a-half-hour session that covered topics ranging from NIL and athlete employment to the Israeli-Hamas war. Once the hearing was over, Manchin's comments to Warren's getting the most traction and reaction. It's hard to root for the kids when they're multimillionaires and freshmen and sophomores, said Manchin. This was the comment that garnered the most backlash on social media. The 76-year-old Fairmont native did not stop there. If it's all about chasing the dollar, that's not what it was designed to be. If that's it, go from high school to the pros, Manchin added with emotion. Ross Dellinger spoke out here. It says Senator Joe Manchin on college sports, and he kind of just reiterated what, what Osti wrote there. There is a rule against high school football players immediately moving to the NFL, obviously which would never happen anyway. People brought up two main points to counter the feelings of Manchin and anyone who disagrees or who agrees with what he said. One of these counters is the fact prior to the advent of NIL, college athletes help schools, corporations generate millions of dollars while the player is unable to legally cash in. Some then argued student athletes were receiving scholarships and a free education a counter argument was made that if a free scholarship saved a student $200,000, for example, that money would, would not come close to equal what he was being generated. They said that's especially in the case of mega superstar athletes in the brand, name brand institutions. The other counter mentioned is the hypocrisy of a senator from West Virginia to be publicly against NIL. West Virginia University, a school that means much to its state, as any school in the country, for a myriad of reasons, has jumped right into the deep end of NIL. Not only does WVU benefit from Country Roads Trust NIL Collective, but it's widely known the WVU men's basketball program has enjoyed the help of Country Roads Trust and other donors when it comes to recruiting transfer players. Just in the last few months, WVU has looked into the NIL bank repeatedly. First, this was done in an attempt to help Hall of Fame coach Bob Huggins win the national championship that has eluded him. But the collective had to then kick into gear again when Huggins found himself in the midst of multiple scandals that ended his tenure as the leader of the Mountaineers. The players that have remained at the school under him, under now interim coach Josh Shiler, were repeatedly offered NIO increases, and others who have since been added did not come without a price. By the way, the entire college sports industry knows how much West Virginia paid for some of its basketball transfers this year. I assume Joe's going to boycott the season out of principle, reporter Dan Wolken of USA Today sarcastically mentioned. 
The WVU football program is far from shying away from the assistance of NIL, even if the fruits of that labor are just enough, are not evident yet. Now, to be fair to Manchin, he is certainly not the only person to harbor such strong sentiments against NIL and what it represents in college athletics. But with that said, it's still somewhat shocking to see such a prominent figure to be so outspoken about something when it directly conflicts with the actions of the major school of this state. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know where to begin here. This pisses me off so much. <sighs> okay, so this is obviously some jealousy here, at least it, oh, from my end of the spectrum, it looks like. This is a guy who made his millions over the course of time uh, and, and seems to be a little, maybe it was a little bit perturbed over the fact that kids are freshmen and sophomores, as he calls it, making the same type of money or better. That's number one. Number two, obviously kids can't go from high school to the NFL on the football side of things because they don't develop fast enough to do so. It's, it'd be very rare. I would say less than 1% of, 1 of players would be able to go from high school to the NFL successfully. It just doesn't happen. That's a basketball thing. There's also, obviously, as was said in the article, a rule against it. If you want to come to me and say, okay, let's put the brakes on this NIL thing, sure, I'm all for that. I think it's gotten out of control, and most people would admit that. But to say that these kids – need to be pros because they're getting paid what they're worth, to me, doesn't make any sense. Yes, NIL has hurt college football, but it's not the player's fault. If you were in their situation, you would want to cash in on your NIL also. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and so for a 76-year-old West Virginia native to speak out against it, when we needed it, guys, our basketball team would be worse than that had we not had NIL this year. And our football team would be in bad shape, too, actually. You look at some of the transfers from last year, a couple from this year. Devin Carter just had a big week. Uh, Toma Malba has been one of the unsung heroes on the defense, uh, have done extremely well for us. Uh, we couldn't have paid those guys. And so, obviously, this is a bad look. I don't know if anything, uh, if this is anything could come down on us as far as I don't think Manchin controls a lot of what happens with NIL. Uh, maybe there's some kind of law he can put in, uh, you know, or, or vote for that could hurt NIL as a whole. But obviously the collective is here to stay, and these rules are probably here to stay outside of some bumpers that they put along the way to try to help direct it down the path. But generally speaking, guys, this just really pissed me off. Let me know how you feel in the comments, guys. Don't forget to like the video. This is a video that I just kind of did off the cuff. I didn't really do a whole lot of research, to be honest. I just saw these headlines, read some articles, and got pissed off and wanted to come out here and talk about it. Don't forget to subscribe to Mountaineer Paul Talks with Well, guys. It means a ton to me. The support you guys give me means a lot. I'm back in my new house, by the way. forgot to tell you guys about that. Uh, my house has finally been eviscerated of all mold, and hopefully it's we're here to stay. And last but not least, drop a comment below. How do you feel about NIL? Do you think it's here to stay? Do you feel like Joe feels and say no to NIL? I'd love to hear that from you guys. And don't forget, I have memberships now. If you want to join and be a member of Mountaineer Paul Talks Football, there's two tiers. Go down below, read about them, hit join. Would love to have you as a part of this, guys. I have a Discord that I'll be inviting people, members to uh, in the future as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't have a whole lot else to say on this subject other than it pisses me off. I disagree with it. Uh, and, and let's hope Joe comes out and says something a little bit different the next time he's asked. Let's just hope. This has been another edition of Mountaineer Paul Talks Football, guys. This episode is over. I'm out. This is for Cameron. Cameron.